Okay, welcome back. Here's my next video. Today I'm going to show this hit point bar controller. This is for having a floating hit point bar above the enemies. This is pretty awesome. So let's play. And it's only going to show up when an enemy is injured and not dead. So at the beginning I shoot all these guys down in one hit. You can see it on these guys. There you go. The tower, that's a pretty good one. Pretty soon it'll be a bunch slower on the tower, but let's do another one. Okay, so you can see that um, as soon as the enemy dies, the uh, floating hit point bar also disappears show how to do all that stuff. And I also really weakened the weapon so I could do this and make it more dramatic. So you can see what's going on in a little slower motion. Alright, let us go to the script. Here is the hit point bar controller script. This is brand new. It's not very long. This is the whole theme. So I declare some variables at the top. I do have a start function, I have a short update function, and a short on GUI. So the variables that I have here are my camera, and it's a camera object. I have a vec, vector2, and then I have a couple textures that I'm attaching. They're the same as for the player right now, the green foreground and then the black background, so you can tell how much damage has been taken. Life ratio, life width, so this life width is how wide the texture is going to be above the enemy object. And then a life height. So however tall I want it to be. And then I have the, oh let's see, life background width is the, the full width. So that's how the black is going to appear. And then the life width is going to be updated after it takes some damage. Okay, in the start function these two lines here, I have one of them commented out, but I wanted to show it anyway. I need to attach or have this variable look at the main camera so it can um, use the coordinates of that camera. There are two ways that I found to do it. This first one, my camera equals game object, so it's going to look for something. Dot find game object with tag main camera. Main camera is one of the default tags that comes with an, a new project and then because this is an object and I need a camera I have to have this dot camera on the end so that I can store a camera object into the my camera variable. Or what you can do, and this looks a lot shorter, um, it says my camera equals camera dot main so this is whatever is the current camera in use you can have multiple cameras in your game but you can only have one of them active at a time all right let's go down here so in the start function I'm setting life background width equal to some number here this is a number of pixels and this is how wide it's gonna draw the texture and then life height is how tall it's going to draw that. So I can play with those numbers and once I start loading in new models uh, I might change these so that it looks better. So right now this is how I have it. Now the update function checks the life ratio of the enemy every single frame. So I set life ratio equal to basically enemy current life divided by enemy max life. And they're in another script, so I have to call get component enemy stats for both of those variables. So if the enemy is dead, then it won't really matter. Um, but if he is damaged, then this ratio does matter. And if he's undamaged, then I don't want to draw it, so that's important too. <clears throat> and then I uh, set life width equal to this life ratio, so somewhere between 0 and 1 times the life background width. So this is for the green bar in front. Now the on GUI function, I check to see what the life ratio is. If life, life ratio is greater than zero, 
so the enemy is still alive and the life ratio is less than one so it has taken some damage then I want to set vec which is this vector 2 from up here equal to my camera dot world to screen point transform dot position and then I have a little comment here that says I want to convert from the XYZ those are the space or the world coordinates to the screen position that's in pixels so you have to get it right or else your uh, floating hit point bar is going to be in the wrong spot or go the wrong direction or not even show up on the screen I'm going to do two calls to GUI.draw texture. The first one, let me go down over here. This is going to be the texture for life remaining behind texture. That's the black one. And then the next one that I draw on top of that is the green one, life remaining texture. So you can always tell what the maximum hit points were, how much damage you have done, how much you have left to go gives you good reference, good visual. Of course we're used to that, but when you program it, you gotta think of this kind of stuff for the player experience. So in GUI dot uh, draw texture, the first thing is a rectangle. So I need to have four values inside these parentheses here. The first one is vec dot x. So this is the x position in pixels. And I want to subtract a little bit. I'm going to subtract half of the width of the life uh, background texture. So it centers it around the object. That's the X position. Now for the Y position, I'm going to take screen height, which uh, it's kind of backwards. Uh, if you're into algebra and you remember the difference between quadrant one and quadrant four, we normally think of things as Y as positive up and x positive right. Well here we do have x positive right, but we're in quadrant 4 here, so the pixel coordinates um, on the computer screen are x positive to the right and y positive down. So it's really backwards, but here's how it is. So you take screen dot height and you subtract the y position and then here's the real offset. So I um, I'm going about 30 uh, pixels above the object right now. Again, I can change this, and I actually need to have a variable in here so that once I get all my objects loaded into ArcShoot, I can have this be a different number depending on the name of the object, or the, the cloned prefab. All right, now this is going to be the full width of the object, this third position of the rectangle. And then the fourth position is the height. So I have the same height for both, and then the different width here. So the full width um, for the black background, the top one, and the updated width for the green one. All right, that is it.